Hello there, it's Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk and uh, today this is just a quick vid to, uh, for one, to show my uh, next project which is going to be this um, Atari 520 STFM and I'm just having a quick play with some uh, lighting in, um, in the room up here um, a few people have said that um, the poor quality of the video I did last time was probably due to uh, poor lighting so I've pretty much doubled the amount of light I've got up here um, just to basically make to see if it's going to make any difference. I don't know whether it is or it isn't. Like I said, it's just a uh, just a quick experiment. Uh, I can't really fit that much more lighting up here. And whatever it is, it's got to be LED. If I was started using big um, halogen lamps up here, I'd cook. So uh, I'll have to see what I can do on that. Um, I do have a bit of space if I can get to it up there on the. Um, up here which I may be able to mount some uh, lamp holders and uh, put a couple of like 100 watt LED lamps up there um, that's about all I can really I can really do um, but anyway this video like I say I'm going to get on to uh, my next project which is this um, Atari STFM this is another of my uh, car boot sale purchases purchases sorry from many many years ago, um, I think I paid about three pounds for this. Uh, like I said, this was many years ago when these things were absolutely worthless, and um, every car boot sale had a load of them. But yeah, um, I've just fired it up now. Uh, but a few interesting things about it. Um, ugh, I'll just unplug it so I can turn it round. And if we look, it's got a um, a PC style floppy drive fitted to it what's really strange is no one's ever cut out round it here to allow the eject button to um, work so no one's ever been able to you put a disc in and it just pops straight back out of it and there's not even enough room for the eject button to pop out so whoever used this computer must have run it with the um, case off like that all I can guess is that it was getting to the end of its life the original floppy drive failed, someone bodged in a PC drive, I think it's a PC drive that, it's a Sony. Um, but never bothered, they must have just used it like that, and then stuck the case back on and flogged it on a car boot. Which is most strange, like I said, I've never come across one where there's a floppy drive being installed but you can't actually use it. But anyway, uh, I'll plug it in and I will show you the slightly strange symptoms we've got with this uh, one. It's not working, but it's got a really, really weird fault which I've never come across before. I will say I am not an expert with um, Atari STs. Um, I never had one back in the day. I only knew one person that had an Atari, and it was um, an Atari Falcon. Uh, this is when I had an Amiga 1200, so it's... Um, a little bit newer than this and we used to have some great battles about who had the better computer with me having an Amiga 1200 and he having a um, Atari Falcon but anyway um, yeah let's get back onto this I'm going to uh, tilt you up onto the screen and I'll show you and you'll also hear the slightly strange things this computer is doing at the moment so I'll switch it on Well, it's never done... Oh! <laughs> okay, that's bizarre. Um, it started working. That is really, really weird. Because the last couple of um, times where I plugged this thing in and switched it on, all you've had is basically a black image down the middle, wavy lines down the middle like that. No colour. And then occasionally you just see the mouse cursor. Uh, this is quite bizarre, so I I'll switch it back off. I'll connect the mouse up and uh, <laughs> we'll have a look. A that really is, that's strange. I do have a little lead for this somewhere, uh, which means that you don't have to do this. It's like a little adapter you plug in underneath here and it, uh, it brings the mouse and joystick ports out so they're a bit more... Uh, easier to get at. Anyway, we've plugged the mouse in. I don't think I've got any software for this thing, but... Is it going to power up? There we go. 
that and even the mouse works that is really really strange because like I said last time I've tried this a few times and it's just had this horrible buzzing noise and like I said this strange wavy line down the middle of the Im a black and white image and then all you'd be able to see is that you wouldn't see any read any of this here all you'd see is um, like a reverse like a, um, a white on black cursor in amongst all this waving lines and I plug it in for the camera to show you guys and <laughs> it starts working that is most bizarre it really does seem to be uh, Atari um, TOS copyright 8687 German graphics environment it does really seem to be working it doesn't seem to be showing format I don't know whether that's working I don't have any software um, at the moment for this thing, so I can't really um, test whether the disk drive's working or anything like that. But that is really, really bizarre. That it's just started working all on its own. Well, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this video now. Uh, like I said, I was going to show you the uh, horrendous fault this thing was having, and then uh, we'd have a look at fixing it, but obviously we can't do that if it's uh, decided it's going to start working uh, what we will do uh, not in this video because like I said this video was more about just seeing what the uh, what the video was like with some um, more lighting on it but uh, we will go properly into this computer and um, have a look over the main board the main reason I've actually dug this thing out is um, because of all them Atari uh, ROM switches that I got hold of. If this is working, at least I've got something I can actually uh, test them on now. I will also get a, find some um, Atari discs from somewhere, so we can at least see if the um, disk drive is going to um, boot anything. But yeah, uh, I might as well leave it there for now. Um, so at least you'll be able to see what the uh, next project's going to be. We'll have a look over this um, Atari and give it a bit of a clean up. But uh, I'm going to leave it there for now, so uh, thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.